to our today's video we are going to discuss about some problems based on the concept of integration by partial fractions belongs to exercise 7.5 okay see question number 7 integral x by x square plus 1 into x minus 1 dx integral x by x square plus 1 into x minus 1 dx so listen concentrate the denominator and here denominator in the form a linear factor into a quadratic factor okay linear factor into quadratic factor suppose we have a function or integral like numerator no need to bother about the numerator and denominator is a product of linear factor and quadratic factor so this integrand can be represented as a by the linear factor plus listen bx plus c by the quadratic factor okay a by linear factor plus bx plus c by quadratic factor let us consider this integrand x by x square plus 1 into x minus 1. So this can be written as a by the linear factor x minus 1 plus bx plus c by the quadratic factor x square plus 1. So we split or we write this integrand as partial fractions. Okay. Now, as usual, take cross multiplication. So, a into x square plus 1 plus bx plus c into x minus 1. Put it as equation number 1. Now, left side is okay, whole divided by x minus 1 into x square plus 1. Okay. Left side is x by x square plus 1 into x minus 1. Now denominators are same. So we can write numerator. So x equal to a into x square plus 1 plus bx plus c into x minus 1. Now put it as equation number 1. Now we need to obtain these partial constants a, b, c. So either you can uh, expand, open this bracket or directly. So here I am going to expand this. This becomes a into x square plus 1 plus just multiply these two. bx into x, bx square, bx into minus 1, minus bx, c into x, cx, c into minus 1, minus c. Now, uh, when we put x equal to 0, isn't when x equal to 0, these two terms, these three terms become 0. So, remaining left side, 0 equal to, this becomes a into 0 plus 1. That is a into 1, a. This term is 0 minus c. So, a minus c equal to 0 implies a equal to c. Okay. Now, when we put x equal to 1 also. See here, when we put x equal to 1, this becomes. Okay. This becomes 1 minus 1, 0. 0 into this expression is 0. So, 1 equal to when x equal to 1. Left side is 1. 1 equal to a into 1 square plus 1. 1 square plus 1 is 2. This term becomes 0. So 2 a equal to 1 or a equal to 1 by 2. If a equal to 1 by 2 then c is also 1 by 2. Now we need to find b. So to obtain b, listen, equate coefficient of x square equating coefficient of x square 
see along left side there is no x square term so coefficient is equal to 0 now here coefficient of x square is here a and here b so a plus b a plus b equal to 0 which implies a equal to minus b or b equal to minus a what is a a is 1 by 2 so 1 by 2 equal to minus b or b equal to minus 1 by 2 so we have a equal to 1 by 2 b equal to minus 1 by 2 c equal to 1 by 2 put all these values in this partial fraction okay let's see So equation 1 becomes, equation not equation 1, this expression becomes, this is an x by x square plus 1 into x minus 1, written as a by x minus 1 plus bx plus c by x square plus 1. So this becomes 1 by 2 by x minus 1 plus minus 1 by 2x plus 1 by 2 by x square plus 1 okay a equal to 1 by 2 b equal to minus 1 by 2 c equal to 1 by 2 now uh, integrate integrate x by x square plus 1 into x minus 1 dx here also integrate with respect to dx. Here 1 by 2 is constant. So take it outside. 1 by 2 into integral. 1 by x minus 1 dx. Plus. Listen here. Numerator 1 by 2 is constant. So take it outside. 1 by 2 into remaining. Minus x plus 1 by x square plus 1 dx this is 1 by 2 into integral 1 by x minus 1 dx plus we can split this into 2 that is 1 by 2 into integral minus x by x square plus 1 dx okay minus x by x square plus 1 plus 1 by x square plus 1. Okay. Integral 1 by x square plus 1 dx. Is clear? Split into 2. 1 is minus x by x square plus 1 plus 1 by x square plus 1 and separate integral. And this 1 by 2 is common to both these factors. So here also we can write 1, 1 by 2. Let us consider this is i1. This is i2 and this is i3. Okay. So we need to find i1 plus i2 plus i3. So let's see. i1. Our i1 is 1 by 2 into integral 1 by x minus 1 dx. So 1 by 2 is constant. Integral of 1 by x minus 1 is log. Log x minus 1. Now i2. i2 is 1 by 2 into integral minus x by x square plus 1 dx. We can take this minus outside. So minus 1 by 2 into integral x by x square plus 1 dx. Now here we can apply substitution method. Listen, put x square plus 1 equal to t. Now differentiating on both sides. This becomes 2x dx equal to dt or x dx equal to dt by 2. Put this value, I mean x dx. Put this value here. This becomes minus 1 by 2 into integral. x dx is dt by 2 by x square plus 1 is t. Again 1 by 2 is constant so take it outside. So negative 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 integral 
डी टी बै टी और वन बै टी डी टी नौ नेटिव वन बै टू इंटू वन बै टू नेटिव वन बै फोर इंटरल वन बै टी इज लोग टी अगे रीप्ले टी सो दिस् मैन वन बै फोर लोग एक्स्वयर प्लस वन ओके सो ई वन ई टू नौ तेड वन वि नीड टू फैंड ई थ्री then i3 i3 is 1 by 2 into integral 1 by x square plus 1 dx now listen 1 is a minus 1 square so it is of the form 1 by x square plus a square dx okay x square plus a constant uh, we already learned some results so वन बै एक्स स्क्वय प्लस ए स्क्वय ईज वन बै ए टैन इनवे एक्स बै ए वन बै ए टैन इनवे एक्स बै ए सो दिस् बिकम वन बै टू इंटू वन बै ए एज वन इंटू टैन इनवे एक्स बै ए एज वन सो वन बै टू टैन इनवे x it's our i3 so we obtain i1 i2 i3 so required integral is i1 plus i2 plus i3 so substitute all these values here what is i1 1 by 2 log x minus 1 1 by 2 log x minus 1 plus what is i2 माइनस वन बै फोर लोग एक्स स्क्वय प्लस वन प्लस वोट इस वन बै टू टैन वर्स एक्स प्लस सी सो दिस इज अवर आंसर ओके सो लिसन इट इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट वन इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन यू हेव टू कॉन्सट्रेट द डिनोमेटर ओनली As per denominator, we need to convert it into partial fraction. See here, denominator is linear into quadratic. If it is linear into quadratic form, you have to convert this integrand as a by linear factor plus note down b x plus c by quadratic fraction, quadratic function. Then, as usual, you have to take cross multiplication and find the partial constants and Uh, find the integral with respect to dx through this process in this process integration process you can apply substitution method or direct formula or something else okay so this is question number 7 listen it is an important one okay write and study let's see question number 8 <coughs> integral x by x minus one whole square into x plus two dx. Listen, here the denominator is x minus one whole square into x plus two. Uh, either you can expand this x minus one whole square. You can see this becomes a quadratic expression. So a linear factor into quadratic, and you can. Uh, continue the process as same as what question number seven. Otherwise, listen. It is of the form a linear factor into a linear factor square. Okay, a linear factor into a linear factor square. So this type of integrand can be written as please note down x by x minus one whole square into x plus two. It is of the form a linear factor into a linear factor square. So this can be written as a by c x minus one, okay, plus b by x minus one whole square plus c by x plus two. It is type four. You can see. Integration by partial fractions type. It is belongs to type four. Okay. So a by x minus one plus b by x minus one whole square plus c by x plus two. Now take the LCM. 
here LCM is x minus 1 whole square into x plus 2 so uh, here uh, taking cross multiplication is not possible uh, if you need you can consider the first two terms and take cross multiplication uh, then after make the same process with the third term so better thing is that multiply each and every term with this LCM so here we will get a into x minus 1 into x plus 2 okay plus b into x plus 2 plus c into x minus 1 whole square whole divided by x minus 1 whole square into x plus 2 left side is x by x minus 1 whole square into x plus 2 okay now this can be written as uh, denominators are same so we can write x equal to a into x minus 1 into x plus 2 plus b into x plus 2 plus c into x minus 1 whole square now find a b c when x equal to 1 listen these two terms become 0 so 1 equal to b into 1 plus 2 1 plus 2 is 3 or b equal to 1 by 3 okay now look at these factors okay when x equal to minus 2 when x equal to minus 2 these two terms become 0 so x equal to minus 2 this becomes c into minus 2 minus 1 minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3 minus 3 square is 9 so minus 2 equal to 9 c or c equal to minus 2 by 9 now to obtain a to obtain a just equate coefficient of x square here coefficient of x square is a and here also there is a x square term its coefficient is c now along left side there is no x square term so coefficient is 0 0 equal to a plus c here c is given what is c minus 2 by 9 so a plus c minus 2 by 9 equal to 0 or a equal to take this term to other side this becomes 2 by 9 so we have a equal to 2 by 9 b equal to 1 by 3 c equal to minus 2 by 9 so this expression becomes listen x by x minus 1 whole square into x plus 2 becomes a by x minus 1 plus b by x minus 1 whole square plus c by x plus 2 is what is a 2 by 9 2 by 9 by x minus 1 plus b b is 1 by 3 1 by 3 by x minus 1 whole square plus what is c minus 2 by 9 by x plus 2 now take the integration with respect to dx okay integration with respect to dx okay now as usual find the integral okay i am not doing so complete it this is the process okay now um, question number 9 question number 9 is integral 3x plus 5 divided by x cube minus x square minus x plus 1 dx see the denominator it is a cubic expression okay third degree cubic expression and in class 10 we learn how to find its linear factors i don't know whether you recall or not so let's start with the p of x minus x plus 1 first you will put x equal to 1 p of 1 equal to 0 and check whether this expression is equal to 0 or not equal to 0 
if we put x equal to 1 then x, this expression equal to 0 implies x minus 1 is a factor okay do you remember okay if it is not equal to 0 then move to p of minus 1 equal to 0 then x plus 1 is a factor if it is not equal to 0 you will put x equal to 2 and so on this is uh, one of the process uh, look at here when we put x equal to 1 this becomes 1 minus 1 square 1 minus 1 plus 1 so all these terms cancel so p of 1 equal to 0 p of 1 equal to 0 implies x minus 1 is a factor x minus 1 is a factor so we got one factor now make long division method divide this cubic expression okay minus x plus 1 cubic expression with this factor x minus 1 so first term is x cube to obtain x cube multiply with x square x square into x x cube x square into minus 1 minus x square now change the sign then add so this becomes 0 now next term minus x to obtain minus x we need minus 1 minus 1 into x minus x minus 1 into minus 1 plus 1 now change the sign minus becomes plus minus be plus becomes minus now add becomes 0 so x square minus 1 is the second factor and x square minus 1 is same as x plus 1 into x minus 1 so x minus 1 x plus 1 x minus 1 these are the three factors of this third degree expression this is one of the method otherwise um, you can write this cubic expression as listen x cube minus x square minus x plus 1 from these two take x square as common so x square into x minus 1 okay from these two take minus outside so this becomes x minus 1 now these bracketed expressions are common so write it firstly x minus 1 into remaining x square minus 1 so x minus 1 into it is of the form a square minus b square so it is a plus b into a minus b we get the same factors and see sometimes this method is not practical so in that moment you have to um, continue the process with the long division method here we can easily associate the terms and take the common factor we get the uh, factors okay factors of this quad i mean cubic expression anyway uh, write the integrand 3x plus 5 by x cube minus x square minus x plus 1 as listen 3x plus 5 by x minus 1 into x plus 1 into x minus 1 dx here x minus 1 is common so this can be written as 3x plus 5 by x minus 1 whole square into x plus 1 now look at here this is a linear factor it is linear factor square okay linear factor linear factor square so this integrand can be written as listen a by x minus 1 plus b by x minus 1 whole square okay plus c by x plus 1 linear factor into linear factor square type of 4 so this integrand can be written as a by consider this a uh, square form firstly a by x minus 1 plus b by x minus 1 whole square plus c by x plus 1 now integrate with respect to dx to obtain this partial constant take cross multiplication or lcm and find the partial constants and replace these partial constants here and integrate the expression with respect to dx you will get the answer okay